Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to part one in an introduction to a heap data structure. So here I'm going to be covering some of the basics of a heap. I'll be talking about the basic structure of a heap and also what we need to do when we need to add an item to a heap. So the two basic ways to implement a heap, we can implement a heap as a tree or as an array. And uh, at first I'm going to be basically showing you how to implement a heap as a tree and then later on in part three of the series I'm going to basically show you how to take the information from the tree and translate it into an array. So the first thing we need to talk about is the structure of a heap. So for the tree structure I'm going to be using a binary tree. So a binary tree means that each parent node has at most two children and uh, the way we start to build our heap is we just simply start at the root node. So that's the beginning of our heap right there. And then we basically fill in our heap from top to bottom, left to right. So the next node would go to the left child, and the next one would be the right child. And then once a row is complete, we simply move down to the row below, and then we just fill it in left to right. And we just continue to go all the way across. And so that's the basic structure of a heap. And we can keep adding, we can add a leaf here as long as we go top to bottom, left to right. We can stop anywhere in this process and we have the right structure for a heap. So that's basically the structure of a heap. You fill it in from top to bottom, left to right, and you don't move on to the row below until the row above is completely full. So now that we've covered the basic structure of a heap, let's talk about the two basic types of heaps that are normally used. So normally when we're dealing with a heap, we're usually dealing with either a max heap or a min heap. And so a max heap has a property and it basically says that any parent node is going to have a value that is greater than or equal to its children. And for a min heap, any parent node is going to have a value that is less than or equal to its children. So because of this property, a max heap will always have its greatest value at the root and a min heap will always have its minimum value at the root. So let's go ahead and look at the max heap in a little bit more detail here. So if I was to just kind of go ahead and just draw out a max heap here, I could just choose the number 40 here and uh, that will be my root and then I can just go ahead and just put 15 as the left child and 20 as the right child. I'm just picking random numbers that are less than the parent so we keep the max heap condition and I'm building this from top to bottom, left to right, so that we keep the right structure. And uh, for 15, you can have a child of 13 and 8. And uh, so basically, I just built a max heap here. I built the right structure, top to bottom, left to right. And uh, the parents' values are greater than their children. So what happens when we need to add an item that violates this rule? Because when we add an item, we have to add it to basically the leftmost available spot. So if we needed to add the item 22, we would have to add it here because that is the leftmost available location. So we basically add the 22 here, and when we add a new item, we basically compare its value to its parent. And in the case of a max heap, the parent needs to be greater. So we simply run that check, and then we see that we have a greater value in the child than we do the parent. And so we need to flip the two values. So 22 moves up here, and 20 moves down there. And then once again we check the value of 22 with its new parent and now we have the right parent-child relationship. 40 is greater than 22 so now we have our max heap established once again. So if we needed to add another item to the heap, let's say we need to add the value 45, we have to add it in the leftmost available spot. So the leftmost available spot would be right here. So we would add it there to keep our structure correct but now our max heap condition is not met. So we compare the new item with its parent, and since the new item is greater than its parent, we simply switch the two locations. So 22 gets moved down here, 45 gets moved up, and then we check once again with its new parent, and 45 is greater than 40, so we need to switch those two so that 45 is now the parent. And now once again, we have a heap established. We have a max heap established. So anyway, that was the basics on the structure of a heap and what we need to do when we add a new item to a heap. 
So stay tuned for the next tutorial I will be discussing how to remove an item from a heap. So thanks for watching, you guys have an excellent day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.